Hey, hello, your second travel with Wolf Grohl. A couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at training and how to deploy a training program to really drive culture. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. If you go to the one of these training classes, it's like 40 hours, sometimes 48 if it's five, six days, and it's relentless, right? So many people come back after SANS classes and they're like, oh, I'm exhausted. It was like they turned on the hose and just waterboarded me with information and in one hand that's a real good thing because you feel like you got a lot out of it on the other hand if you consider that the half-life of the human memory is about six weeks how much is left of that after six weeks right how much of that information really sticks so the tip to you is to break down training into smaller modules and repeat those modules over a longer term so for example let's suppose we wanted to change behavior in an application development team. Let's suppose we want to change behavior in that team so that they're writing secure code. Let's suppose we want to make sure that they knew the right things to do and were getting help if they're struggling with specific areas. Rather than send them to a 40 hour training class once a year and hoping they retain that Q2, Q3 by the end of the year, nine, 10 months later, uh, one other way would be to take that 40 hours and divide it up so that you're doing one training module every week for maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. So let's pause and think about that hour. One, we know that if you cram in 40 hours, um, it's easy to forget things and lose track of it, right? It's too much. The second thing is, uh, if you do a training module, especially with how busy we are, people's attention starts to fade. Some of the metrics we see on like podcast, or not podcasts, but like webinars, really fascinating stuff. Most people are very, very attentive for about the first three to five minutes. Might give you indication of why these videos are three to five minutes long, but most people are really attentive three to five minutes. Then there's a peak uh, and then they start to drop off. The next big drop off is at the 20 minute mark. After 20 minutes, right, people start zoning out. 20 and a half hour done. So it also goes back to the Pomodoro concept of about 25 minutes being the ideal time for someone to do deep focus. If you go more than 20, 25 minutes, either what we see in webinars or what Pomodoro recommends, you lose their attention. So rather than doing an hour training, let's make it a half hour training, right? And use that first 20 minutes of content and then have a few questions to reinforce the material. So you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. why are we doing questions? We trust the people where we put them back to school no no no. i get that we don't want to do that but we do want to make sure that they did actually pay attention so a questions reinforces the learning and proves that they paid attention uh b stages of showing answering those questions help cement it in memory and c we use those answers in aggregate to figure out how our developers are doing we pull the information together crunch it look at it and figure out hey what are SQL injection, cross set scripting, uh, input validation, what areas are our team consistently not doing well on? And we use that in an iterative feedback cycle to provide supplemental training on those key skills. And that's how you take a 40 hour training down to 40 weeks of a half hour training. So you just cut the amount of time needed by your team in half and you use it to drive behaviors and you use it in such a way that uh, maximizes learning, memory, retention, and, 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 thankfully, uh, drives true security behavior because it's not a one and done activity. It becomes a part of their weekly ritual and a part of their daily activities. Have you seen anything like this? What do you think? Work, not work? Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.